So Emily, we've decided to start a podcast. So we thought, I thought we should have a conversation about why would you bother starting a business podcast, you know, and by sharing our reasons. Is that all right? Yeah, fine. Obviously, we have discussed this. Obviously. Why, Obviously. Would, why would we, along with every other business under the sun, seem to be doing a podcast right this second? Well, I, I think there's the first thing there, because I agree why every other business under the sun. But they're not, no, are they're not. they? They're, not. They're, they're like, if we look at how many we know, we know a handful of podcasts in a sea, a vast sea of small businesses. So I'm just looking at the sea of people just floating, going, oh, hold on for dear life, don't see. Well, I'm, yeah, well, hold on, that's a separate episode, <laughs> aren't we all holding on for dear life? Winging it, hustling, uh, freestyling, Buzz Lightyearing it, falling with style. Falling but I don't with like style. Falling, flying with style. Fall, don't like falling, it's negative. Anyway, why, why are we... Why well, do you say that's negative? But a, a skydiver would say that's a positive. Right, so there's a question. I know we're meant to be getting into this, but if a skydiver stopped falling and started kind of hovering, <laughs> would they be disappointed? <laughs> Answers in the, in the comment. Let us know what you think. That's today's. If, you can't, if you're not in the woods to see a tree fall, does it make any noise? Today's question is, if a skydiver, free faller, stops and hovers, will they be disappointed? Stops or stops at the bottom. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Come on then, right. Anyway, so we're so, doing a podcast. Yeah, we are, we are doing a podcast and we have taken a long time to get to the point of deciding to do a podcast. Uh, we teach our digital circus members all the time about creating content for their business, macro content in their business, yet we weren't necessarily doing it for our own business, which is kind of bizarre. But we had said from the very um, outset that if we were going to do something properly, we were going to do it proper. Pro proper. <laughs> yeah. We were going to do it properly, weren't we? And it, it seems now, after a good couple of years, we're in our fourth year of this business, three years with the digital circus, yeah. that... Now is the time with a lot of thought about it to make something really, really, really good. And hopefully something that's actually going to prove the model that we teach our clients. Well, well, OK, so that's a core driver for us. Oh, no, we just like buying new fancy well, microphones. Well, that's it. I think <laughs> that's the point. And it comes back to the real. Yeah, there is the business stuff about the model we teach, mm -hmm. the ecosystem and everything else. There's also that bit about about the community. So, you know, we'll talk about what the podcast is about in a minute. Or I can do this, can't I? I can go watch that video there where we announce it. Um, but, yeah, there is a kind of core driver of just also wanting to talk to people. Yeah. We do, and we are. You know, we, we've we've done our culture and values with Ben Drury, and one of our Hi, sort of, our top values was that we're curious optimists. We like people a lot, and whether that's in business or in personal life, and you know, the adventures we go on, and everything, we we just like finding out about people and what drives people, and we just we just love it, and we have a lot of conversations. We talk a lot of rubbish a lot of the time, actually, but that's mainly because. So just, sorry. Well, well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't talk rubbish ever. Okay. I talk a load of rubbish all the time. <laughs> okay, um, I can hold my own. But, you know, why not have that opportunity to talk a lot of rubbish with some really interesting people and create some amazing content at the same time? Yeah, I think so. I think actually, the more I think about this, there's there's a, a thousand, a gazillion reasons why we're doing this, isn't there? Like, I, I want to, so I'll tell you, actually, we can name check loads of people in this. So Vanda, mm -hmm. wonderful Vanda Varga, mm -hmm. she shared a guest blog out recently, which I can't remember who it was with. Why, why, why it annoys me, I can't remember. And as I was listening, watching and reading it, <laughs> I was in podcast mode. As I was reading the guest blog, it dawned on me how much expertise is in what we're calling small business yeah. world yeah. and and it's really easy to want to go to the person with 10 million followers and everything else can you know because their opinion and thoughts are validated but the reality is everyone with 10 million started somewhere yeah. and therefore if you look around you there's a lot of expertise and you don't always have to find the people with 10 million followers, subscribers. Obviously, there's extremes within this. And, and I just thought that opportunity to yeah. speak to some of the experts around us would also be and exciting. And my God, there's such a lot of expertise, such a lot. Even in just the small little tiny corner of the internet that we sit in, we've had... It's, it's minuscule. It's minuscule. It's minuscule. And I think that's the benefit of, of content creation and online. And we've always been online first as a business. We do do in-person stuff. And we have been in person even in the last month or so. 
But the benefit of being online at this moment is that we could be t- talking to people in Brazil, in New Zealand, in India, and it doesn't matter that we've never met because we're having a connection in a different way. And I think that's a really exciting place to be. And the expertise we have all across the world, just because we've not met you yet, doesn't mean we're not going to have a, a conversation at some point. It is. Totally, totally, totally agree. I just had another thought and I can't remember what it was. I think it was that world thought. Before this, we were recording testimonials for people mm. and I recorded one for Vishali and I was watching Vishali Shah, hiya, Creative ID, and I watched a live stream with Vishali recently and she was talking about when she uh, built this brand for this client, um, she was factoring in that global audience, the language, the, the subtleties in language, the subtleties in colours. And she gave me this great example, which I can't remember, so go and find the <laughs> Charlie. Um, and I was like, I didn't know that. I think it was if you wrote something in English, it upset someone in Malaysia quite strongly, something is. like that. And um, and it was just oh, that, that was it was it was a brand document she was doing. She was using a, there was a part of someone's wedding logo it was actually quite was it defensive. the sickle. Yeah, it was quite offensive in in that culture. And actually, they had to just re- yes. rehash it a little bit. Uh, which, and that takes us on to another drop your comments in the comments. If you know something in one culture that would upset someone in another. I'm talking about like texts and fonts and colours. I'm not talking about ridiculously strong opinions. Then drop that in the comments. Okay, so... What is the podcast that we're creating, Alan? So the Digital Circus Life, watch our announcement about it here. It is uh, the podcast that's celebrating regular people achieving remarkable things. And really, it's about these people we're talking about, us, the other small businesses, the people we know, whether they're online or in person locally to us, who are all achieving stuff. And the bit we wanted to get to was the the adventure behind it, the adventure that got to them where they are today. We find with a lot of the people we hang out with, they have commitments, they already have a mortgage, they, you know, they're, they're trying to work out how to leave a job, uh, they have children, families and things like that. So it, it's a particular kind of style of adventure and that's why we want to start it because we want to explore all of those things as well as the content element as well as then making clips and shorts and everything else we can get from it there's a thousand reasons we we have to get going about how billions of people across the world is the fact that we're not all going to be youtube famous we're not all going to be the next okay don't tell me that (laughs) we're not all going to be the next Gary V, Ali Abdul, insert any other big YouTube name, podcasting name. Q explosions. Um, we're not going to be, but we have an opportunity to have a voice to the, the community that we want to talk to all the time. And we want to talk to small business owners because we think you're bloody amazing. And we've all got quite a hard ride, really, because we're all trying to aspire to be like these big names. When in a, in reality, we may not all get to 10 million subscribers and have, you know, an entourage of staff working with us on our very highly polished podcast. Yeah. It could just be two of you in your bedroom or our spare bedroom right now. Yeah. And, <laughs> well, no, that's it. That. And, and actually, for every person who is aspiring for greatness and growth, greatness, wrong word, large growth, there will be the large majority, sorry, who just want to make money to pay the bills and kind of have a great life. So, I'm, we'll be brutally honest, that's all I'm looking for in life. I mean, you do want to be the next Ali Abdul. No, I don't want to be uh, the next Ali Abdul. Far but from I, it. I want to have enough financial freedom, and I say financial freedom, not billionaire, zillionaire, whatever in air at what, all. Whatever. That yeah. we can enjoy our children whilst they're still little, go on some amazing adventures, Go on a plane a bit more every year. That's something we've not done for a long time is getting on a plane and um, just have something to write about in our memoirs when we're 80. Yeah. So in amongst all of that, that's why we're starting a podcast, yeah. isn't and it? We're, 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 I'm going to go on for a little bit more. more and I know you're going to tap me on the knee and go, Emily, time. Already it. tapped you on the knee. But um, we're doing it properly. We, I'm going to get an armchair. <laughs> I'm going to get an armchair. Here we go. We're launching the podcast in September, October. It's currently, as we're recording this now, July. This is the first time probably in our 10 and a bit years of business together that we've been that organised to do something where we're thinking about it properly. We know who we're talking to. We have a structure. We have our equipment that Alan's very happy that we bought. And um, we're going to do it properly. And we're really looking forward to seeing where it takes us with all the amazing people that we're going to be interviewing too. Yes. There you go. That's done. Done. Dusted. Thank you so much. Thanks, Alan, for having me in my own spare bedroom. Well, thank you for having me in my, not for the first time. (laughs)
pre-kid years, obviously. Anyway, on that bombshell. See you later. Bye. Oh, don't forget, subscribe and all that jazz. Oh, we need we need a Joseph to do. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. All right. Bye.